Good morning, guys. This week we are looking at natural selection. And all that means is <clears throat> organisms that have particular traits are more successful. So if they have, say, a fur color that helps them blend in better, or it's a moth and it has um, scales that help it to blend in better, or possibly a bird with a better color variation, then those are the ones who will survive, and then they will produce offspring, which also survive. And the organisms that have traits that don't help them blend in are going to die. So let's look at our first question today. A population is a group of individuals of the same species that live in the same place. The individuals in a population often have differences in their traits. These differences are called variations. We talked about this a little bit when we talked about genetics earlier this year. So in this population of wild mice here, they can either be brown fur or black fur. So in a population, black fur and brown fur are traits or variations of fur color and that would be variations of the fur color trait okay in a population there may be more individuals of one variation of a trait than of other traits a variation can become more common in the population due to a process called natural selection so Let's look at these mice. When we consider the population of mice shown below, due to natural selection, this population changed over many generations. A generation is just the amount of time it takes for the individuals in a population to be born, grow up, and produce offspring. Just like when you guys talked about generations in civics. Okay, so over many generations, how the population changed due to natural selection. Well, for some reason, these black mice, something happened in their habitat that makes these black mice blend in better. So they're more successful. The predators cannot find them as easily. All right, so over many generations, how did the population change due to natural selection? The black fur variation became more common in the population. The fur color of some individuals in the population changed from brown to black. Well, that doesn't happen or the fur trait became less common in the population. So it's got to be the black fur became more common. Okay, they're the ones that survived and produced more offspring. Okay. Come on, Axel, you're slow today. There we go. Okay, so natural selection uh, may, certain advantageous variations more common in a population. Um, a variation is advantageous if it makes an individual more likely to survive and reproduce. Whether a variation is advantageous depends on the population's environment. Advantageous variations help an individual in its specific environment. They may make it easier to get food, avoid predators, and produce more offspring. Consider the population of mice with brown or black fur. These mice are hunted by hawks that look for prey on the ground. It is harder for the hawks to see mice that blend in to the ground. This diagram shows mice from the population of two different environments. One environment is covered with brown sand and the other has many black rocks. Okay, so this shows you a little better how things blend in, especially when you're talking to about small organisms because they're usually the prey. We talked about predator and prey before. So match each variation to its environment, where it would be more advantageous. All right, so if we're looking at a valley with mostly black rocks, then we definitely want to have black fur. If we're looking at a desert environment, which is gonna be sandy and usually a brownish color, then we're looking at brown fur. Okay. So I hope this helps you guys. Just think if you lived in that environment, what characteristics would you want to have so that you weren't eaten? And I think you guys will do great on this because you're smart and you've got this. All right. Good luck.